Hi, water crisis is a serious matter. Due to the rising population and pollution, therefore global warming, nowadays we have less access to drinking water. There are many ways that we can manage this crisis. First, by not wasting water, but eventually, we like it or not, because the population going up and the amount of drinking water resources we have on Earth is limited, we would have a problem. So what should we do? Yes, two thirds of the Earth is covered by water, but that's the ocean water, it's salt water. We, can't, we cannot use that for drinking. There are some countries that are using that um, to turn into drinking water by desalinating the water, but that is the big problem because we are using huge amount of energy for that, and that would add to the pollution and global warming. So it means we are adding to our problem. One other way to make drinking water for ourselves is to using the water vapor, which is already in the atmosphere. If you find a way to condense those water droplets into the liquid and collect them, so maybe we can have access to drinking water in remote area. Um, humidity is everywhere. Even in the desert, we have a certain level of humidity in the air. Not much, obviously, to rain, but if we can collect all um, these droplets, then we can have enough water for drinking. So to condense this water vapor, obviously we need to cool them down, means we need energy again. But what if we find a way that we can condense this without burning any fuel or using any um, electricity from fossil fuels? So using renewable energy from the sun and some physics to help us condense the water. So, I've made a prototype that helps me to generate water out of the air. Yes, and today I will, I will show you to you how to make this and generate water out of the air. It's not much, to be honest, I've tested it, but it works. To make it um, more efficient, obviously we need to have some adjustment in the design. I'm sure when it's more efficient, better technology, then you will have access to the water. So people from the remote villages or even small towns, they wouldn't need to migrate to big cities. So they would have access to water for drinking, for the life, for the farming even. So let's see how this works and what we need. Here we need a fan to suck in the air. So I use these plastic bottles here, connect them together, glue them together to direct the air going inside this tube. What do I have inside this tube? Is a copper pipe coil. I turn this copper pipe to a coil to increase the surface area. You know the copper is a very good uh, conductor of the heat. And the whole coil is inside this tube. This tube, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with it, is a toilet brush holder. But no, 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 it wasn't used. I bought it brand new. I bought it brand new. Yes. Um, if you can use any other pipes that you have, but it was cheaper to buy this. And I didn't need to cut or anything, just right sides that I needed. Um, so the copper pipe is connected to that funnel that you can see here inside, which comes straight from the fan. So the air is sucked in into this funnel, goes to the copper, goes down. Now, how this condensation gonna work? This device is gonna be placed under the ground, up to here. So we dig a hole, we place it inside, and because under the ground temperature is way cooler than the uh, surrounding air, therefore the air that goes in, while it's going through the copper pipe, it would condense and start dripping from right at the bottom. These drops of liquid would be collected in this plastic top. And we can see it's connected to the pipe. This pipe can be outside um, from underground coming out. And by sucking it up, the water will come out without you needing, without, uh, needing to remove the whole thing from underground. So this can be placed under. But how does the fan work? Simply by this solar cell. This solar cell uh, absorbs the energy and store it in the battery and release that over the night. And that's actually best to work over the night so we charge the battery during the day and the fan stop working at night because at night we have more humidity even better so condensation happens and
collecting water. As I said, it wasn't this device is not very efficient, the one I made. But however, still after 24 hours, it did generate one cup of water. It's not enough for the human to survive, but it works. So maybe if we make it bigger even or better design, it would be enough for farming or making drinking water for a family. Free energy, renewable, and because it doesn't work 24 hours, um, the batteries will last long as well, so less maintenance. To stop the dust um, and dirt goes inside the water, I will cover this fan with this cover. So I have a plastic container goes in the top, so the air is sucked in from under, so the dust and dirt won't go inside. And the solar cell will be placed at the top. I'm going to connect them and show you how this works. So here we have the solar cell attached in the top. You can see here. And the fan is covered by plastic top. The air goes in, get to the inside of this pipe where we have the copper coil. And then we can have this plastic top fits in. And when it's collected, we can take it out through this pipe from under. This wasn't expensive at all to make it. Uh, from the shop that they sell everything, you can find all the parts. It was so cheap. I hope this video has inspired you to do something good for the environment and tackle the water crisis. If you have any questions about this project, please let me know in the comment below and I promise I will reply back. Once again, thank you for watching my videos and supporting me. Thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to share my videos so other people can access and learn something new. Um, Alright, see you next video. Thank you. Bye.